this video, we'll dive into a feature that Heptabase and many other PKM note-taking tools offer, task management. Whether you use Evernote, Ample Notes, Obsidian, Tano, or even Apple Notes, you will find the option to quickly create tasks with checkboxes. We'll explore how this works in Heptabase and why you might not want to rely on it as your primary task management system. Watch until the end to learn when using tasks in a note-taking app makes sense and how to stay on top of your actions as a busy professional. Task management in Heptabase. From a fabulous movement and iCore perspective, this is something you usually don't want to say that you do task management in the PKM tool. It's something we don't recommend at all, unless your life is really simple and you don't have a lot of actions going on in other systems and you don't receive actions from your clients or your boss or something like that. And maybe you, if you're a student and you just use Heptabase as one place to manage your actions, it might work. But other than that, you probably need an external action system like a task manager or project management tool in order to plan it out with the time restrictions that you have in a day. However, there's still ways to use tasks inside Heptabase to our advantage. And that's something I use also. Okay, So maybe you're in a meeting and during this meeting, you get some action that you need to do. So I would do this this way. I have a meeting with Paco, right? Talk about something and then he says, could you do this and this? So I use Markdown again for this. Obviously you can use slash and say to do, and then this makes a to-do list. Or I simply use these two brackets, this and then the closing bracket and space, and it converts this into a task. And now I can say, I need to upload a document, you know, just some context. And then I keep taking notes, right? I made dash, I keep taking notes. And uh, then throughout the day, I think about different things. And then an up meeting with Sarah, for example, right? And then here I have another action appearing. I need to do this. If you have back-to-back -back meetings, then you don't want to get distracted by writing down, going to the perfect system uh, in your action system, lay this out. This is an intermediate step that is really powerful if you do it right. Now you could go on like this and maybe on another day, you know, you have some meetings like here and there might be another to-do coming up, to-do a week later or something like this. And then it's done. So in some tools, you have the issue creating these tasks. They will just be checkboxes scattered across the tool. There are more and more PKM tools that allow you now to give a consolidated list of all the tasks that you have created. For example, Apple Notes even allows you this, but many others too. And this does Heptabase too. So when I go to the sidebar, you have the task meta app here and I can go here and here are the tasks that I just created appearing. And here you see where I created the task. So this is the card, okay, that was created. So this means when I'm in, in a whiteboard and I have created a new node and in this node, I suddenly came up with an action that I should do. I need to uh, you know, upload another thing. Okay, and then I don't want to go away from my thought process. You have some momentum going. So you just keep working on this whiteboard. You can be safe and sound that by doing this, that you have your task being added here. And now you see there's no due date added. Here are due dates because I created them on a journal a note. But you always have to reference the context from this task. And that is really helpful because how I use this, this is my action inbox. And I have a routine that just tells me to process this inbox every day to move these actions into the final destination, which is the actual action system, either my task management tool to do is or the project management tool ClickUp in my case. And therefore I can go through the step by step. If I need more context, what needs to be done, I click here, it opens up the node and it gives me the surrounding context where I understand, ah, there is not enough, but it was about taking note, for example, and then I have the context there and then I can perfectly move things into my action system, maybe even already plan it out there and I can close them here. So 
the only thing this, this done section tells me inside Heptabase is that I moved this action into my action system. It doesn't tell me that I completed this action. And it's very important that you make clear definitions how you use these features. I would never mix these things up. Do something here and then check it off and then move something to the action system and you will mix things up and that will become really complicated. Obviously, is there something that you already have done and it was so quick that it was not even worth moving to the action system while you were going to the inbox, then check it off and call it a day that there's no need to move it over. But in general, this tells you that this was processed. Either it was done directly or it moved into the action system. So I can forget about this and I have to plan this out later on. And this gives you full control for a busy day because as a busy professional, you have to go through so many meetings, so many things that you have to take a context switching, thinking about different departments, clients, employees maybe. And in the end of the day, you need to have control of all the information that you collected. And having it this way, you have already identified the action points that are things that you need to do and those move then into your action system and that's what we teach you inside the task management like a pro and the project management like a pro courses when we move information into action using the ICO methodology but this is not part of this obviously it's up to you how you use this and I just wanted to show you how I use this feature you can give it due dates here and you can move things around but this is really basic and the moment you have something in external action system systems, it's hard to consolidate all the different actions into one place, for example, into Sansama as a planner app, and then plan these things out, because this will be always disconnected from the rest of your action systems. And that's something to consider when you think about using actions inside Heptabase. After watching, what's your take? Let me know in the comments. Do you manage your tasks solely within your PKM tool, or do you use it as an intermediate bucket? for processing tasks into your main action system. If you found this video useful, join our free membership and enroll in the Heptabase Mastery course to truly master Heptabase as your core PKM system. This course isn't just a featured tour. It reveals the golden thread connecting every function regardless of your setup or method. Whether you're into daily note-taking, deep thinking, complex problem solving or research, you'll see how all this can work together inside Heptabase. Plus, you'll automatically receive free future updates as Heptabase evolves, and it does on a regular basis. So check out the link in the description below, and I'll catch you up inside the membership. Baby, let's move on. Your productivity.